So now that now that you've done all these, you've done B rooms, C rooms, A yeah, rooms, A rooms, and then you're yeah. doing um, theaters. Theaters. I'll I'll be here. I'll I'll be here in Denver, uh, New Year's Eve. So if you're in town, uh, what's the theater name? Par- uh, Paramount. Paramount. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if if you're in town, you got you got you got tickets waiting for you. Okay. Yeah, buddy. All right, we might go to Mexico. So let me all good. That's a good place to go for New Year's Eve. Yeah, so she I was don't just talking it. about it. So we'll all see. Good, man. We'll, we'll see. see. We'll see if we, if we're here. We're definitely coming. Hell yeah. Um, but uh, all right. So when did you do like? When was your first special? First special was two thousand and. Uh, and that was Daddy Issues. Uh, fun size. Fun size. Right? Fun size was the first one, two thousand fifteen, I believe, and that was. Here's a fun thing about that special. So when that was shot, it was shot in, at the Libero Theater, which is in Santa Barbara, a small, small theater, smallish theater. And I was barely anybody, and I couldn't sell it out. So when you see it in the special, we had to maneuver the audience. So on camera, it looks sold. Out. It looks sold out. But if you would look, but but if you're looking out from the stage, they were like in this weird, like almost Z shape, <laughs> just because that's what we had to do. To get to get to look like it was sold out, uh, but yeah, it. So and here's the thing about um, this business is people will ask me a lot to say like, when was your big break? And I go, I didn't have a big break. I had the break that led to the break that yeah. led to the break that led to the break. And so Fun Size is a prime example of that. Fun Size. It's my first special. It's on Showtime. Awesome. Hell yes. That that's a break. But it's this is back before, you know, um, like we had DVRs, but for the most part, things aired once and then they were never re-aired again. Maybe they recorded it, but they wouldn't play it a ton. They'd play it every now and then. So it was just there and then it was gone. Then uh, Amazon Prime comes up. Am- Amazon Prime buys Fun Size and Daddy Issues, those two specials. Great. Now they're on Amazon Prime and, pe- and people are watching those for free. And so that was an un, that was another break, but then TikTok happens. People get these little clips yeah. from the specials. They blow up on TikTok, and to this day, I, I I know I'm an idiot. Write me, please. I I've heard it, but I don't have a TikTok. I'm not on TikTok. Any yeah. person you see on TikTok as of this moment is not me. But my clips went nuts. So now I'm I started selling tickets. And uh, so it was the break that led to the break that led to the break. Yeah. It, and I could throw in five more of those types of breaks, whether I got in uh, on certain radio shows, doing certain podcasts like that, that helped. So to those people that are tr- that are looking for that silver bullet, that's going to be like, all right, I'll get to here and then I'll be happy or then my dreams will come true or then it's all going to happen. No, it's going to be the thing and then the thing and then the thing. Yep. So have three goals. Don't have one. Um, yeah, I think people do that a lot. They they set this one goal and then they're chasing like this. Well, because I imagine you you want to make the team in college. Cool, you made the team. Cool, you want to get drafted in the NFL. You did that. Well, well, now what? You need the next thing. Yeah, you have to come. I it happens in the NFL. Guys get drafted and they fall off because they don't. That, that was their goal is to get drafted. Yep. So now they're like, okay, I got drafted. I made the team, and now what? Yeah. Now they lose their drive. Yeah, because that then it's your rookie contract. And I've, I've heard this said by a couple of people, so please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, it's like the second contract. That's the one. That's the one. Yeah. You're working for that second contract. If you get a third, fuck yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Okay, good. And uh, so, yeah, it, it, it's uh, fun size was great. Daddy Issues personally is my favorite. That's my favorite special. And if you've seen the ending, you know why. Because my dad's in the audience and I have a whole bit about kind of what I was talking to you about, how he raised me, how he raised me in terms of comebacks and stuff like that. And and then my dad uh, uh, was diagnosed with very serious skin cancer. It was not looking good. and uh, But then he, he beat it. So And that was the special after that. Aww. And as I'm doing this bit, I know he's in the audience, and, I, and I'm going, don't look at him. Don't look at him. Because the audience has to be lit so that so they can be seen on camera so i know i can see him if i look i'm like don't look at him but then i look at him this is near the end when i'm doing the bit i start sobbing and then i fuck the material i give a speech to him and i tell him thank you oh, and, that's I, awesome. and i do all that and then the camera cuts to him he's crying 
He puts a fist up in the air. I'm crying. The audience standing ovation. And so that's why that special uh, is the most important to me. We lost dad two years ago to ALS. Uh, dude had everything. Jesus, cancer, ALS. <laughs> he, had, he, had, he had heart issues. But uh, yeah, so it's like, but he made the 77. And so that's a long life, man. That's, that's a long and, life. So, and here's what I tell people is if, if, if you've ever seen uh, the show Inside the Actor's Studio? No. Okay, that's where uh, um, a host would interview actors, comedians, whatever, like an in depth interview. It was on Bravo Channel. Uh, the host was great. I believe he's passed away, but there he would do these questions at the end of the interview. Same questions every time. And one of the questions was, if heaven exists, what do you want God to say when you get to the pearly gates? He had Mike Myers on the show. He asked, he asked Mike Myers, if heaven exists, what, what do you want God to say when, when you get to the pearly gates? Mike Myers responds, he saw it. And he says that because he lost his dad very early and didn't get to see, I don't, I don't believe his dad saw SNL, didn't see Austin Powers, didn't see Wayne's World, like all that stuff for him. So that's what, that's his biggest thing that he carries with him. My dad saw it. Yeah, he got to see the... He saw the specials. Mm -hmm. We got that moment. He's met all his grandchildren. Like, uh, he saw my uh, sister make partner at uh, at her firm and killing it. Saw my success. He saw it. Yeah. I'm happy with that. I'm yeah. content with that. You never want to lose your loved ones, but if that's what happens, okay. Yeah, so that, that one's the most important one to me. The newest one is called Starfish. That's on YouTube right now. And uh, I, people, like, yes, if Netflix or HBO or Hulu or whomever comes to me and hands me a giant bag of money and says we want a special, great. But the YouTube route's pretty cool. I think it's awesome. I made it myself. I financed it myself. Uh, I own it. So yeah. I can do whatever I want with it. I can put whatever clips on I want. And uh, right now it's getting right to 2 million views. And uh, uh, so by all means, the, the the Wolf Untamed audience, if you want to yeah. look that up, yeah, get it up to 2 million. Make sure you guys million. check this out. Go subscribe to his YouTube channel. Yeah. And uh, I didn't have a YouTube channel. I made one to put the special on. And uh, yeah, we're watching the intro where I get thrown off the balcony. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. No, oh, look, I, I this was the first time I've looked at the audience during that scene. There were some good actors. They were acting like I was well, dead. This looks, I mean, this looks no different than a, a Netflix special yeah, would look. And, and that's we spent money. We we spent how much? How much? If you don't mind me, how much does money. it cost to do that? Six figures. <laughs> really? I figured. You know, because uh, got to rent the venue. Got these can these cameras are not cheap. Uh, uh, and then did you buy the cameras or did you rent them? I'm I'm renting them. I'm using a production company and they and they're renting them essentially. Yeah. But uh, yeah, everyone, like you have to pay for everyone. And I'm looking at, of course, when you're paying for everything, you notice everything. So I'm walking around the set and there's like all the craft services and I'm looking at the crew like you better fucking eat all that. <laughs> like, <laughs> I paid for that shit. Like you know, and then you you. you like there's so many things that you didn't even realize that you have to pay for that you have to pay for, but uh, I've made the money back. It's great, uh, uh, so it's all good. Are you getting paid from by YouTube? Uh, yeah, not yet, but I've made the money back in terms of the ticket sales. And, oh, and here's something that was fun. This is real inside baseball, but we, I figure why not? Uh, I shot the special myself, uh, paid for it myself. Then there was a company that came along called uh, Veeps, V-E-E-P-S, and they do, like, concerts. You can go to it. You can watch concerts, and they wanted to get into comedy, so they got a few specials. They bought a few specials uh, from me, from, I think, David Cross, Reggie Watts, uh, Blair Saatchi, Soki, and uh, uh, so that paid for it back. But then they only owned it for, like, three months. And then oh. they get, and then they gave it back to me. That's a good deal. And I'm like, that's a great deal. <laughs> so yeah, uh, 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 yeah. So thank you, Veeps. Uh, thank you, and you, you can still watch great concerts. I believe it's still even on there if you want to. But uh, if you want to give them some money, give them some shout outs, great. But yeah, that that that's how the special went. And it would you say that that's the blueprint? Like once you reach a certain level, is to put specials out so that yeah. you can sell out shows. That's the thing. That's where you make money. Like I've heard rock stars talk about it, where it's like it used to be you you 
you put out records to make money. Yeah, so you can sell a million albums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like that's not where you make money now. Now it's the tour. Mm-hmm. So that's what you do. You you put out specials. The specials can become clips. The clips can go on like. I threw up one. Yeah, they put out singles. Yeah. They're the, putting out singles. These are singles. These are our yeah. version of singles. I put out one. Uh, if you look at my Instagram, you'll see it. Uh, a few weeks ago, it's a joke about me and my dog. Yeah, right there. 2.4 million likes. If you look in the views, it's like 25, 26 million views. So, like, crazy viral. And it's just me talking about my 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 freaking pit bull. And, uh, and people like dogs, man. He's got 2 million <laughs> likes. Yeah, it's madness. Yeah, so that like I had, I, the, there, <laughs> yeah, there you go. Thank you. There, there was like uh, celebrities that were hitting me up because of that clip. It was, it's awesome. So you never know what's gonna be the thing. It, it's so great now because it used to be in comedy like you had to get on the Tonight Show and then you had to get a, or then you had to get a special. You had to get a Comedy Central special. You had to get a Netflix special. Like now, you don't need someone to give you the special or give you the thing. You could go on social media, you could write your own stuff, produce your own stuff, and if it takes off, great. Same thing in the music industry. It used to be the record company had to find you. Yeah, now you could go SoundCloud. Go SoundCloud. Put your shit in. There's mumble rappers on SoundCloud that are, like, putting out stuff that's blowing them up, and I'm like, hey, it's not my thing, but good for you. Yeah, good for you. I'm not going to hate on somebody for making money. No. For working hard, making money, doing something they like to do. That's fine. 